The Camps Australia app is your ultimate guide for exploring Australia. Let's take a look at some of its features to ensure you get the most out of your camping experience. When you first download the Camps Australia app from Apple iTunes or Google Play, you'll need to create an account with your details, providing an email address and creating a new password. Once your account is set up, you'll use these details to log into the Camps Australia app. When logging into the app for the first time, you'll be asked to allow Camps Australia to access your location while using the app. The Camps Australia app requires your location to provide you correct maps of the area, so be sure to tap Allow when prompted. Once the app is open, the home page is your starting point. It has the following actions available. Map, Search, Trip Diary, Offline Area, Help FAQ and Account. The map section is where you'll find your camping sites. Make sure your blue location dot is displaying at your current location. If it isn't displaying, you may not have allowed the app to use your location. Switch this on in your device's location services settings. On the map, you can search by location or site name. Select the state and scroll down the alphabetical listing. If you know the site name, you can start typing to narrow the results. Then tap to select from the list. You can filter results in five core categories. Day use, camping or overnight, caravan parks, dump points and information centres. You can narrow results further by selecting various attributes in camps and caravan parks, such as pet-friendly or toilet facilities. This will ensure you only see sites with these attributes. If you want to search for different attributes, tap Reset Filters, then Apply Filters and start again. The Search section offers a simple way to search for sites. Either tap the map or use fingers to pinch the screen in or out. To view, tap on the icon or use the sidebar search. The site details will then display, showing available facilities. Search also offers directions to the site from your current location using either Google Maps or MetroView GPS. Note that Google Maps requires cellular or Wi-Fi service and MetroView GPS, while not requiring a cellular service, is a third-party app sold separately on iTunes or Google Play. After selecting a site from the map or search section, you can add a review and photos or view others. Give the site a star rating. Post any fees you paid to use the site. Share the site with friends. View a five-day forecast of the local area and provide feedback to us if there has been a change to the site's facilities. There is also an option to mark the site as a favourite or add it to your trip diary. The Trip Diary is a service that lets you create a record of the places you've stayed and to plan ahead for your next destination. To start, tap Add New Trip and enter your trip name. Use the notepad to write an account about the site or to jot down notes. You can look at the selected sites from your diary by tapping the map on the screen. Once you have entered your trips, you can tap the map icon to view the whole trip. You can edit and remove a site by sliding the site name to the left. Tapping on the cog icon will allow you to delete a completed trip. The offline area allows you to store maps and details of sites for use in areas where there is no cellular service or Wi-Fi connection. You will need to download the maps and data ahead of time. This download process can take up to 15 minutes to complete with a good connection, and it's recommended that you download state by state. When downloaded, you will see all sites and their details while offline. The open street map will give you a basic view of roads, towns and cities. The search and filter functions will work offline. And you can also view your trip diary. However, you won't be able to add notes or photographs until back online. If you get stuck at any time while using the app, the Help FAQ section offers explanations of symbols and terms used and outlines key functions of the app. If you need to update or change your details, you can do so in the Account section. Here you can update your password and check the status of your subscription if you have one. 
When you subscribe to CAMPS Australia, you receive automatic notifications to update the app when available. You can subscribe for the update service via iTunes or Google Play by tapping monthly or yearly subscription on the app. For more information or help with the CAMPS Australia app, visit the website at www.campsaustraliawide.com.